The sponsor of today's video is Webull. Simply use the link down below my description box, deposit any amount of money, and we each get five stocks. It's that simple, and by the way, it's limited time, so get on it, use that link, enjoy. Now let's get into the video. We had another great day in the stock market today, ladies and gentlemen. We had the S&P 500 up 1%, we had the Dow up 0.7, we had the Russell up 0.9, and we had the NASDAQ up 1.2% as the VIX went down 11%. So today, you know the drill. We're going to break down some stocks, some charts. We're going to talk about my thoughts on the market. So sit back, relax, hit the like button, subscribe, check out my Patreon. If you guys want all my buys, sells, call outs, morning update videos, plus more, all that's on Patreon, link down below. And with that being said, let's get right into the video. So today was a great day for the bulls. Like I said in the intro, we were green all across the board, volatility died down we had the VIX down about 11% and looking here on the four-hour chart when it comes to SPY which you guys should know tracks the S&P 500 we can see we broke above not only the 50 but also the 180 moving averages here on the four-hour chart and we broke above 465 this is extremely bullish when it comes to SPY and in my opinion now we're well on our way to the top of this channel which will probably get us back back to all-time highs whether we hit 475 which would be an all-time high whether we hit 480 I don't know but by the looks of it the fact that we're breaking these moving averages we're well on our way we're well on our way this is a very good sign for the bulls and pulling up triple Q here let's see what's going on um, on triple Q you guys can see this one's not quite yet above both moving averages it is above the 50 but not above the 180 on the four hour chart here so I would like to see triple Q whether it's tomorrow or after Christmas and by the way Merry Christmas happy holidays to everybody out there watching I appreciate all of you each and every one of you I really do appreciate you all and I'm um, thankful for you guys for uh, letting me do this because without you, YouTube, it would not be a possibility for me, right? So again, happy holidays, Merry Christmas. You guys are awesome. So for Triple Q, watch out for the 180 moving average on the four-hour chart. Or in general, if you have different moving averages, watch out for 395. That is a very critical spot for Triple Q. I think if that point breaks, and I'm going to set my alert right there right now, I think this is probably going to start going towards 400. And I think 400, which is towards the bottom or rather the top of this channel, um, that's going to be a critical spot. If we break 400, then we're talking 408 is definitely in the cards, which was the all-time high from the middle towards the end of November. So overall, even though Triple Q is not breaking out completely like SPY is, it still looks fairly bullish in my personal opinion. And I'd love to know your thoughts. Let me know down below in the comments. Make sure to hit the like button as well if you guys are finding value in this video and in my videos in general. Again, like I said, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. So make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. We have about eight days, eight, nine days left in this year. And we're trying to get 25,000 subscribers. It is a bit of a lofty goal. I'm not sure if we'll get it, but hey, it's worth a shot. So make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell. And now, now that we broke down the markets, a bit let's take a look at what's going on with some of these stocks that i'm looking at number one is roblox ticker symbol rblx and i have a bunch of little cousins i'm sure you guys can agree they're always on roblox and i have no idea i feel like i'm a boomer at this point even though i'm not i'm in my 20s but when i'm looking at these kids on roblox i'm like what the heck are you guys doing? And I'm trying to learn about it because these could be the companies of the future, right? The the companies that these little kids are using these days, right? And trust me, a lot of little kids play these uh, Roblox games, and I still don't really fully understand it, but it's, uh, it's interesting, right? And I, I'm looking at my cousins playing this, and I'm thinking... I got to do a deeper dive into the stock. And I'm looking here at the chart. The stock has been doing very well. In fact, it was $63 back in, when was this? May, beginning of May. And it went all the way to 141. That was back in the middle of November. And since then, from 141, it sold off quite a bit. It just hit $94. So from 141 to 94, that was a drop of about 30, 35%. And now it's back over 100. We're 
slowly starting to reverse, but not quite yet because we're still under the moving averages. But I'm telling you guys, the second Roblox breaks out of 110, which is above those moving averages, the 50 and the 180 here on the four-hour chart, Roblox is probably going to start gaining momentum yet again. I mean, take a look. Last time they reported earnings, this stock went ballistic. I mean, this was 78 bucks before the earnings, and then a day or two after, it was well over 100, and then it got all the way to 140 about two, three weeks after the earnings. So this stock, needless to say, catches fire and it catches fire quick. So you have to watch it. I'm watching it. And that's why I'm talking about it here on this video. So Roblox, set your alerts. I'm going to put mine at 100. I'll put it at 108 for now. We'll see what happens above that point or around that point. So set your alerts, RBLX, XLNX is another one that I'm personally looking at right now. This one went up 4% today, and it's currently down from 240 now to about 215 So it is down about 9-10% over the past couple of weeks. And right now in real time, guys, we are testing the top of this little downwards channel that we've been in for about a month, three weeks to a month at this point in time. So we are slowly breaking both moving averages, which is a good sign here on the four hour chart, but we're not quite yet breaking the channel. We're getting there. We're almost there but not quite yet, right? So we have to watch if this breaks 215, which it is. I mean, we close at 215 and we start breaking into the 220 level, which was the high point from the 16th of December, right? That is where a full-on breakout, in my personal opinion, is going to occur. So I'm going to set my alert for XLNX and I don't even know how to pronounce this company. I'll be honest with you guys. I'll take a shot at it. Maybe it's Xilinx, Xilinx or something like that. I can't say it. Uh, I'm sure you guys are probably laughing at me right now, but either way, I'm going to set my alert at 220 and watch what it does from there. So do that. If you guys want to keep your eyes on it, this is slowly starting to gain momentum by the looks of it. ADP is another one that I'm personally looking at. Automatic Data Processing Inc. This one is breaking out. You know, we saw XLNX. It's almost breaking out. This one, on the other hand, is breaking out. This one up 2.44% today. You guys can clearly see we're well above the 180 and now the 50 moving averages here on the four-hour chart. And today, as we went up 2.5% pretty much, we are now breaking out of the wedge, which is a very good sign. So we closed at 237.60. The recent high is at 241. We're well on our way to probably taking that point out or at least testing it right so keep your eyes on adp um you know i'm thinking if it clears 238 that's where i'm probably going to put my alert let me do that real quick if we break 238 adp is probably going to take 241 out and probably start going up towards the mid 240s dare i say 250s i think that is where it's ultimately heading so watch out for that Oracle is another one that's gotten destroyed recently, and I'm not exactly sure why. They reported pretty good earnings. This was about two weeks ago. They were at 88 bucks. They reported earnings, got all the way to 106. Then we double topped at about 106 towards the top of this channel as well. Crazy how that works, right? Um, not really, because technicals do work, right, guys? Um, we double topped at about 105, 106, and now we're all the way towards the bottom of the channel again at about 88, 89, 90 bucks, right where we were before the earnings run up. So at this point, I want to see if buyers pick this up, whether it's at 88, 90, 91. That's where I'm going to be watching it. And let me tell you guys, the second we break under the 88 low, Right before the earnings breakout, the second we break under that point, this trend is broken. That would not be good. That would be a bull's nightmare, right? But I'm telling you, if we hold this point 90, we start breaking back 91, 92, we break the moving averages in the mid 90s, this is going to start ripping again, probably back over 100. And honestly, we're probably going to go to 105, 110 on Oracle. So watch out for it. Set your alerts. 
It's getting hit, and uh, I believe people will buy this dip as it is fairly oversold at this point in time. So that's Oracle. Home Depot is another one that I don't want to say it's ridiculously oversold, but it is now down about 25 30 bucks from the recent all-time highs. You guys can see this hit, 422 Now it's trading at 395 It is down a whopping 7%. So it's not a crazy drop, but it's not a teeny tiny drop either. 7%, that is decent and we are holding as of now at least the 180 moving average we've been consolidating above it for the past one two three days and it seems like the uptrend is holding here on the four hour chart and i'm telling you if this breaks 400 right by that 50 moving average on this time frame this is probably going to start at least breaking out to test all-time highs if not take the all-time highs out. So I'm putting my alert. Mark is at or above $400 per share here on Home Depot, ticker symbol HD. The next one is Walgreens Boots Alliance. You guys, you guys know Walgreens. Maybe not, but maybe you do. You probably do. Um, I have a lot of Walgreens around my house and you guys probably do as well. They're all over the country and uh, I don't think they're going anywhere anytime soon. And you guys can see this stock overall has been beaten down from 55 bucks back in May. It just hit 43 just about three weeks ago. That was a drop of 21%. And believe it or not, we've recovered quite nicely from that 43.62 low. Now we're back over 50. And I'm personally seeing an inverse head and shoulders here on the four hour chart. Take a look. We have the left shoulder, the head, the right shoulder. We're trading above the moving averages. We're noticing a golden cross as well. The 50s crossing above the 180 SMA. That's very bullish. So at this point in time, I'm thinking WBA goes to at least least $52 per share, which has been resistant stemming back from the beginning of September. And if that point breaks, watch out above because this is probably going to start going back to 55, 56 bucks, which again, I said that was the high point from back in May and a little bit in June as well, even, even before May, I mean, back in April as well. So keep your eyes on WBA. If we break 52 well, first and foremost, there's upside from here to 52. If we break 52, there's going to be even more upside. So that's WBA. And the last one for today, guys, is Visa, ticker symbol V. I actually think we covered this one maybe a day or two ago, and it continues to break out. Today, it went up 1.2%, and it's been going up over the past couple of days. And you guys can see the inverse head and shoulders that we were talking about recently is playing out. It's continuing to play out. We have the left shoulder here, the head, the right shoulder. We're seeing a golden cross. We're above the moving averages. This is looking great. And on top of that, we took out the highs from last week. I believe that was today. The highs from last week were 215. Now we're trading well above 217, almost at 218. So I think if this continues into the 220s, we're going 235, 240, no doubt in my mind, at least 230 to 235. Um, and if 235 breaks, which was resistance back in the end of October, now we're talking 240 plus. So Visa, it's about dang time that it's reversing. And I believe this uh, this reversal, I could be wrong. I've been wrong before, guys. Keep that in mind. But I believe this could be the real deal when it comes to uh, Visa reversing. Finally, I mean, this went down from 250 to 190 and it's a blue chip stock and whenever blue chip stocks for the most part not always but for the most part at least from what i've been studying for years at this point whenever blue chip stocks go down 20 25 percent you bet your you know what buyers are stepping in buying the dip adding the stocks because you have to realize a lot of individual retail investors own these stocks they're buying the dip a lot of etfs own these stocks they're buying the dip. A lot of institutions own these stocks. They're buying the dip. So keep that in mind. So Visa is reversing. It is looking good. And again, to just recap the stocks we talked about, we talked about Roblox, XLNX, which again, I don't know how to pronounce that at all. Make fun of me all you want in the comments, guys. ADP, Oracle, Home Depot, WBA, and we just talked about Visa. So what do you guys think? Today was a crazy day. We had a bunch of stocks up. Tesla was up 7.5%. We had the Trumps back up, which is a complete speculation. We had Coinbase up, you know, JWN, Airbnb, Google, Apple, Snap. 
PayPal. It was a sea of green. So what do you guys think? Drop me a comment down below. Make sure to hit the like button as well. And check out my Patreon. If you guys want all my buys, sells, call outs, morning update videos, plus more, more access to me, literally everything I'm doing in the markets, I'm posting on Patreon. Check it out. Link down below. Or you guys can go to StossRFest.com slash Patreon. And don't forget to get your five stocks from Webull. All you have to do is use my link, deposit any amount of money, and we each get five stocks. And that actually expires or uh, that offer ends, I think, tomorrow. So get on that now if you haven't done so already. And get your 50 bucks from M1 Finance. That also ends at the end of this year. All of those, the Patreon, the free money are linked down below. And don't forget to also subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. As always, keep crushing the market. Stay safe out there. Peace out, guys.